Hello, I'm Chase Bailey with AMOT. In previous videos, our safety experts have discussed what D-100 runaway is, how it occurs, and how air shutoff systems can protect workers in oil and gas operations from its devastating consequences. In this video, we'll examine some diesel-powered equipment used in downstream oil and gas operations and the need for them to be equipped with an air shutoff system. Due to the high risk of spills or gas leaks, many refineries, gas plants, and fuel storage facilities already ban obvious ignition sources like lighters, cigarettes, and cell phones. Unfortunately, many of these same sites overlook diesel-powered equipment as an additional source of ignition, and their policies do not require air shutoff systems. Diesel-powered equipment used in the downstream sector is often placed near flammable gases and vapors due to emergency responses, necessary maintenance, and day-to-day -day operations. Whether it's diesel-driven fire engines responding to hazard spills and leaks on site, diesel-powered vacuum trucks performing necessary plant maintenance like catalyst handling and waste cleanup, or petroleum haulers loading and unloading product, the risk for runaway is always present. As we saw in the Texas City refinery in 2005, it takes just one diesel engine to become an ignition source and cause catastrophic damage. That's why AMOT recommends all diesel engines entering oil and gas production sites to be equipped with an air shutoff system. For over 45 years, AMOT has helped refineries, LNG production areas, and bulk storage sites implement site safety policies that protect people and equipment from diesel engine runaway. If you'd like to learn more about diesel engine safety, visit our company website at amot.com, follow us on LinkedIn, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest news and updates. Till next time, keep safe.